Uh, today I want to talk to you guys about how to simplify nutrition and maximize consistency, okay? So um, I've been doing a lot of working with clients and kind of working on, on a system, a group nutrition coaching program, and part of that has really opened my eyes to some of the things that are needed to be done um, and where a lot of people are struggling. So that's why I want to talk about how to simplify your nutrition and then as a result that maximizes your consistency. Okay, so these are some tips we're going to be talking about today. Um, if you want to take notes, you can. If you just want to watch the video, that's cool. If you have any questions, comments, or you're not really sure about something, you can leave it in the comments section down below, and I'll be sure to answer those questions after the video is over. I can't. Too much variety makes nutrition complicated. All right, we live, all of us are extremely spoiled. Okay, we live in a world where one day you can have Mexican food, the next day you can have Indian food, the day after that you can have Italian food, and then you can basically get any type of food whenever you want, 24 seven for the most part, with things like Uber Eats and delivery service and you name it. So we're extremely spoiled compared to every single other human who's ever been alive. So we all cringe when our variety is going to be, you know, castrated or is going to be some somehow limited and it freaks us out, it, it kind of bothers us a little bit. So one of the things that I think is an important mindset to grasp is that we need to realize that our variety with food doesn't have to be like all over the place. And you'll see why in a second. If you're someone who prioritizes variety, trying to stay consistent is near, damn near impossible, okay? Because that would mean that if you were to follow that same pattern, that Monday you have Indian food, uh, Tuesday you have Mexican food, you know, Taco Tuesday, that whole thing. Wednesday you have, you know, this, that, whatever. You would be buying and prepping so much different food that there's a good chance you wouldn't even get to all of it to eat, all right? You wouldn't be able to eat all of it because one, you'd be spending a ton of money on food, and two, you would, <laughs> you would waste a lot of food because again, you wouldn't be able to eat all of that different food. It doesn't mean we can't have some variety, and we'll talk about that in a second. It just means you have to change your perspective on what variety really is. If you're stuck in this mindset that you need to have a different type of food every single day at every single different meal, I would work on that first, and then I would start following these tips, or maybe even some of these tips can help you work on that mindset, okay? So that's the first thing that needs to be established. The second thing I wanna talk about is how to create enough variety so that you're not eating the same thing every single meal every single day, but not create too much that you feel overwhelmed with all the different food you either have to prep or buy or get ready you know, during the day or package or whatever, okay? So the method that I've both used for myself and started using for my clients is stick to one to two different meals for each meal time per week. So what do I mean by that? So per week, pick two different types of breakfasts you can have, two different types of lunch, and two different types of dinner, all right? It doesn't have to be 100% that way, but try to think of just one to two different things, and I'll give you an example. On Mondays, I, or, or one day of the week, I'll have oatmeal with protein powder, cinnamon, um, some blueberries, and that's my breakfast, done. The next day, I have a different type of breakfast, breakfast sandwich, English muffin, eggs, and uh, a sausage patty, right? Boom, done, over, right? And I just cycle those two things. And I, that's enough variety for me where I'm not eating the exact same thing, but it's also not so overwhelming that I have to like do all this meal prep for it, right? It's, it's pretty easy to do. Same with lunch. On average, I'll have about the exact same lunch every single day, and I'm just a boring person like that, so it works for me. But you could do something where you have one or two different lunches, you know, throughout the week, and you cycle between those. Um, and sometimes that could be, you know, it's like Monday, you bring your lunch. Tuesday, you know you're gonna go out with your coworkers and you guys are gonna go to a place like Chipotle or try to pick up a, a healthier place or a somewhat healthier place, right? And, and try to pick healthier meals on that menu. And then Wednesday, you're back to your, what the same meal prep you had for, for Monday. And then, you know, Thursday, you, you know, have a different type of meal prep. You get the idea. So keep it to one or two different meals for each type of, you know, meal time, breakfast, lunch, and dinner. All right.